Hi, in this video, I will be demonstrating how to perform descriptive statistics in RStudio. For this demonstration, we will be using an actual data conducted in Davao City. The objective of the research is to measure the behavior of the students when learning mathematics using the three variables, students' activities, attitude toward mathematics, and mathematical habits of mind and test if there is a significant relationship between the measured behavior and their academic performance in math. The link to the dataset is provided in the description, so kindly download it. This was measured using this survey questionnaire. Each variable contains several statements, and the students answered this using a 3-point Likert scale. To get the level of students' activities, attitude toward mathematics, and mathematical habits of mind, the researcher get the average of the responses for each variable. Then, it was recorded in Excel for analysis. Some researcher may say that it is better to use median over mean for this dataset because they consider Likert scale data as ordinal. We will discuss the concept behind that on a later video, but for now, we'll set it aside. In our studio, go to File, New File, and our script to type our codes. Next, we will upload the file. We type data2, read.csv, open parentheses, file.choose, Open close parenthesis, comma, header, equal to true. Then, highlight the code and click Control enter Next, we locate the dataset you downloaded earlier. In my case, it is in the desktop. Let's verify if we uploaded the correct file by clicking Data2 in the Environment window. Indeed, we have the correct data. Let's try to perform descriptive analysis on this dataset. First, let's compute the sample mean and standard deviation of students' activities. To do that, we type mean open parentheses, data2, dollar sign, activities. Make sure that A is capital because in data2, activities, the A is capital. And we type SD. Open parentheses, data2, dollar sign, activities. The mean function allows us to compute the sample mean, whereas the SD function allows us to compute the sample standard deviation of the object indicated inside the function. Let's highlight the code and click Control enter Therefore, the mean score of the respondents in students' activities is approximately 2.29 with a standard deviation of approximately 0 0.31. If you were not able to see the results and you get some errors, check the spelling capitalization, and the syntax of your code. This will solve most of the problem. I encourage you to pause the video and compute the sample mean and standard deviation of attitudes toward mathematics.
to compute the sample mean and standard deviation of attitudes towards mathematics, we type mean, open parentheses, data to, dollar sign, attitudes. Make sure that A is capitalized. And SD, open parentheses, data to, dollar sign, attitudes. Highlight the code and click Control Enter. In the console window, you will see the result. Again, if you were not able to see the results and you get some errors, check the spelling, capitalization, and the syntax of your code. This will solve most of the problem. Suppose you want to use median and interquartile range instead of sample mean and standard deviation. To do that, let's use students' activities for this demonstration. Let's type median, open parentheses, data to, dollar sign, activities, and IQR, open parentheses, data to, dollar sign, activities. Make sure that you capitalize IQR or else you will have an error. Highlight the code and click Control Enter. Therefore, the median score of the respondents in students' activities is 2.25 with an interquartile range of 0 0.4025. I encourage you to pause the video and compute the median and interquartile range of attitudes toward mathematics. To do that, type median, open parentheses, data to, dollar sign, attitudes, and IQR, open parentheses, data to, dollar sign, attitudes. Highlight the code and click Control Enter. Again, if you were not able to see the results and you get some errors, check the spelling, capitalization, and the syntax of your code. This will solve most of the problem. There are other descriptive statistics that you can use to describe your data and we will discuss those in another video. In the next video, I will be teaching you how to fine-tune RStudio commands to describe your data set specifically. Thank you very much and have a good day.